palette, I hope you are ready to work out. We have a workout just for you and it's gonna be a blast. This one is considered a level two workout, seven minutes of actual work plus a little bit of time for demonstration and explanation. As always, modification, so ways to show intensity and to pull back a little bit depending on what feels right for your body. Because the whole point of this is to have fun, to stay safe, and just to move, right? So if there's anybody in your household right now, go gather them around, let's do this. Make sure you're wearing some comfy clothes, shoes if you'd like to, and just a little bit of space is all you need to get a really great and effective workout. So today's workout, four sections. We're gonna start with a cardio burst, two exercises, 30 seconds each. After we're done with that, we'll take a short break while I explain section number two and so on. So our first one, we're gonna go into digs for 30 seconds. Feet under those hips, we're gonna push those butts back and come up. So not jumping, but coming up on those tiptoes. Option two is to add a jump. So adding that jump, landing nice and soft with those knees bent the entire time. So jump, no jump, your call, 30 seconds of digs. We're gonna go directly into squat jacks. So what that looks like, it's gonna take some coordination. We're challenging your brain today, along with your body, you'll thank me later. So here we go. Feet are together, bend those knees. We're either gonna step out, out, in, in, and take that plyo out, or you're jumping, like so. Keeping those knees bent, and you're in the squat the entire time. So 30 seconds, one time each, then we'll take a short break. Let's do it, we're going in three, two, one, and go, digs, remember, feet under hips, push those butts back, we're coming up on those tiptoes, or you're adding a jump, landing nice and soft with those knees bent. Remember to breathe, that's super important. This first section is to do what? Get that heart rate up. I want at least one bit of sweat by the end of it. Final five, then we're going into squat jacks. Two, one, let's go. Bend those knees, out, out, in, in. Add those arms if you'd like to, or you're jumping, staying nice and low into that squat. Or you can do one at a time, just like so. A lot of options. What I want you to do though, is keep those knees bent so you're engaging those quads and all those muscles in your lower body. Final five, then we're done. Three, two, one, short rest. Section one is done. You're done with that one. Section number two, we're gonna have three exercises, 30 seconds each, two rounds. I'll show you all of them right now. Again, always with those modifications. That first one is a sumo squat pulse. What that looks like, I wanna get your feet nice and wide apart. Think of yourself as a sumo wrestler. Feet nice and wide, toes are pointed out at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna sink down and pulse, just like this. You're gonna feel this in your inner thighs, in your glutes, just like so. Option, or option then number two is to do a little bit less depth into that squat, right? Exercise number two is a combo move. We're challenging yourself again today. We're gonna to go into two jabs, two high knees. Let me show you what I mean. Option one, jab, jab, high knee, high knee. Other side, jab, jab, high knee, high knee. Or, add a jump, high knee, high knee. Add a jump, high knee, high knee. Just like that, so either with or without that plyo, a little bit of a combo move, challenging that brain as well. Exercise number three is a switch kick. Get those elbows in nice and tight, right here. You're gonna kick and cross. So opposite elbow is going towards that opposite foot. That's extended, or just kick out and add a little bit of a ply. Again, 30 seconds each, two rounds. Let's set it up. We're moving in three, two, one. You've got that sumo squat pulse. Get those feet nice and wide. Drop down, just like so. So making this more intense. Get down lower, less intense. Stand upright a little bit, add a little bit of a pulse. Making sure those toes are pointed out at about a 45 degree angle. Woo! Should be feeling this in your glutes, in your inner thighs. Right here, let's go. Final five. 
Then we're going into our two jab, two high knees in three, two, one, let's go. Jab, jab, high knee, high knee. Jab, jab, high knee, high knee. You got it. Or add that cardio, up to you. Depends what you are feeling like, what's gonna challenge your body. But we're also challenging that mind by doing some combo moves, right? Doesn't matter what you look like. The whole point of this is that we're moving and we're having some fun. You've got three, two, one. Switch kick right here. Elbows are in nice and tight. Opposite arm, opposite foot is kicking or you're here. Adding a little bit of a jump or take that jump out. Whatever feels good for you. You only have 10 more seconds. You can do this and then guess what? We're doing it all over. One final time. In two, one, let's go, set it up. Feet are nice and wide into that sumo squat stance. Drop it down. Woo, right now, weight are in those heels. I want you to think about your toes being nice and loose. Again, making it more challenging. You're staying in that pulse the entire time and staying low. If at any point you need to shake it out, shake it out, reset, drop that down. You should be feeling this. Glutes, inner thighs. We're going into our two jab, two high kicks. Into one, let's go. Jab, jab, here, here, jab, jab, come on. Or again, add that plyo in. Add that plyo that's gonna add that intensity as well. Otherwise, there's no shame in doing this. You're still working that brain, you're working that body. Right here, this is our last time. And you've got five of five. Switch kick in three, two, one. Let's go. Here, opposite elbow, opposite foot is extended or you're adding that hop. You're keeping those elbows in nice and tight, working that core as well. Woo, come on. Are we having fun yet? I'm having fun. I'm definitely sweating. Less than 10. And then we're gonna take that rest because you're gonna be done with section two in three, two, one, time. Short rest. Dab off that sweat, catch your breath. Section two done, section three. We're gonna take it to the floor for some core work and you're gonna feel it in that upper body as well. Two exercises this time, back and forth for two rounds. 30 seconds a piece as usual. Our first one, our shoulder taps. So here, you're either on your knees or your toes, just like so, and you are tapping that hand to that opposite shoulder. Core is nice and strong. I don't wanna see those hips going back and forth. Then, we're gonna take it into plank get-ups. So down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. When you go down and when you come back up, always thinking of our elbows in line with shoulders, and our wrists in line with shoulders. Both of these exercises can be done either on your toes or your knees, whatever's gonna feel good for you, whatever's gonna challenge you, right? We're going in two, one, shoulder taps right here. Core is engaged, you're either on those knees or those toes, and your hand is tapping that opposite shoulder. Where I want you to be looking when you're doing this is right above those fingertips because you're gonna keep that body nice and in line and not put any extra pressure on that neck, which is just so tender anyways. Final five, then we have our plank get-ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And again, as you are going down and up, I want you to think about your elbow in line with your shoulder and your wrist then in line with your shoulder. So we're not throwing any added pressure into our shoulder joints. We don't need that. Rest when needed. Final five seconds into our plank get ups. And then we're going into our shoulder taps one more time. Ready, set, and shoulder taps right here. Core is engaged. We are tapping that hand. And again, wrist is getting placed directly underneath that shoulder. Nice and slow, tapping. Core is strong, it's working really hard. 
eyes are right above those fingertips. Right here. Last time we're doing shoulder taps. Final three, two, plank get ups right now. Come on, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. And again, you can do this one on your toes or your knees, whatever feels comfortable for you. Try to keep that body in that nice plank the entire time. Eyes again, looking right above those fingertips, right about now. You should feel that nice burn in your arms and in your core. This is two minutes basically of solid abdominal work. Come on, final five. Then we're gonna take that rest. Three, two, one, time. Short rest. Up on those feet. We're going into our fourth and final section, which is only two exercises, 30 seconds, one time. And guess what it is? Just like we started, the exact same thing. Feet on your hips for those digs, with the jump or without, and then our squat jacks, with the jump or without. Let's set it up. We're going in three, two, one, let's dig. Feet on your hips, adding that jump or taking that jump out. 30 seconds, we're only doing each one one time. This is our fourth and final section. Woo, come on, halfway. Now is about the time I want you to start cheering with those friends and family in your room or in your house. If anyone else is around you, we've got squat jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Chest is up, you're stepping or jumping. But this is the best part. This is your final 30 seconds. And then you are done with your entire workout. Woo, come on. Right here. 10 more to go. Are you breathing? You should be having some fun right about now because you know you're almost done. You've got three, two, one, and time. Woo, I'm sweating. I need to catch my breath a little bit. That was a blast. I hope you all had fun. I had fun. You move your body a little bit. Now you can go be productive with the rest of your day. Thank you again for joining me again. My name is Jenna. I'm with Stephen and Sartell. Have a fantastic day, District 742. I will see you all next time.